Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Naked Audio Tutorial. I'm Yong from SG Audio Hive. Okay, so today we have with us here the Beer Dynamic uh, 1350. Okay, so it is here for a detachable cable mod to uh, 3.5mm. So, as you can see, the cable is flaking and uh, peeling off. This is a very common issue for the Beer Dynamic 1350. Actually, the most of the Beer Dynamic uh, headphones have this issue. So, we can either change out the whole cable or we can input this uh, 3.5mm female jack and make it detachable. We will start off by cutting off the old wire and removing it. Okay, so we will have to remove the the ear cushion, uh, the ear pads. It is taped down uh, by uh, adhesive uh, or I think it's a double-sided tape. So we just pry it and pull it apart. Okay, uh, we have to keep this properly because uh, we don't want it to lose its stickiness uh, in contact with dust. So on the headphone ear cups, you can see it's protected by this uh, a screen. So be very careful not to damage the screen. Okay, so there is quite a few places we need, can take a look. Now we, we are looking for this, uh, this uh, small notch over here. It is actually a small notch and a groove and this is the part where we are going to pry open the driver and uh, remove it from the ear cup itself. So in order to do that, we need a flat piece of uh, prying tool. Uh, in this case, I'll be using a pair of tweezers. Okay, from here we will slot it in uh, and we will try to pry it open and uh, get the driver out of the housing. But it seems like uh, this might be too thick. We might even need a slimmer uh, prying tool uh, in order to, to fit it in and uh, get the thing to wedge in between the gap. Okay, I think we got it uh, this time round. We just uh, need to get it open. Okay, so with some work, it's actually uh, a part now. And so this is the inside of the headphone, uh, as you can see, uh, the, the driver, and this is the wire that uh, is connected to the outside where we cut them off previously. There is this piece of uh, metal gasket uh, is there to hold down the, the strain relief, and uh, we can remove it. Okay, so this is how it looks like, and uh, it, it goes there. And uh, we can just pull out the string relief uh, now. Okay, so we will cut the wire from here. And then the next step will be to thin the wires. Okay. The rubber sleeve will be removed to decrease the size uh, so that we have uh, more space to work with on the inside. Okay, and so we have the entry hole here and uh, what seems to be the one that is holding the gasket down. So we have uh, some plastic mounts on the bottom side. We will remove them with a pair of cutter. These are wire cutters, so we'll just cut them away. Okay, We have to remove them because uh, the female socket needs some more space in order to sit flush. So now we have to check uh, if the female connector can be actually used for this uh, model as um, we, we need the the front part to the, the, the part with the screw to have uh, enough length so that it can come out of the headphone housing to the outside. So basically we will just need to get the, the, the female part to the outside of the headphone and secure them down. Okay, so before we proceed, we'll take a look at the female connector that we are using now. And so there are three prongs, uh, one, two, and three down here. So the one right at the front, this one is the ground. And the one on the same side as the ground is the right channel, and the other one is the left channel. Okay, why we know it is because of the contact inside, I mean the, 
the sequence of the content inside. You can also do a tester with a uh, existing uh, DIY jack and you can get the, the pin out. Okay, so for this part, we have to be careful so that we do not tear the driver away. Okay, so basically uh, to install the female socket, we will try to do a screw in motion. This will create a cut, this will cut a thread uh, onto the inner side of the hole. The dimension of the hole is just nice so that uh, it can actually house this uh, this socket size. Okay, as you can see, we have already threaded it through, but now we have an issue uh, that uh, it's not gone on the, all the way through, so it's not actually long enough. For the connector, you can get it uh, through the links in the description. I'll provide a link in the description for that. Okay, so now as you can see uh, on the female connector, there is a there is a small lip. There's a small lip. It is a uh, blocking the connector from going all the way through. So what we can do is to cut them away. I'll be using the same uh, cutter because these are very soft plastic. We we'll just cut them away and trim them down so that uh, you can pass all the way through the housing. Alright, so let us thread it through the housing again. We'll do it from the outside so it can cut the thread so that we can install it from the inside. Okay, we will not be using this uh this uh washer ring. Okay, so it does go all the way through and you can see it comes up from the bottom. So right now what we need to do is remove it and install it from the inside. We will solder the wire after we install the connector. Okay, so now we will try to install the connector from the inside. Uh, so what we will do is basically just uh, to screw it in. This is a clockwise uh, rotation direction. So what happened previously is that uh, we have already cut the threads from the outside. And uh, it is the same thread that we are going to use from the inside. They are actually the same. So uh, it's actually quite easy to turn them inside. Okay, so we want it to go all the way through and uh, be at least uh, flush with the outside. The screw thread itself is very strong. We do not need any other locking uh, mechanism on the outside. So we just need some glue. So here we can see the connector sits flush with the housing. And uh, we just need to get it uh, at the correct angle and then uh, glue them down. So now we bring in our ziplock bag and this is a uh, super glue or CA glue. You just dab it just a bit to let it flow through the connector and the housing. Okay now, so as we can remember, uh, we have the left, the right and the ground. We will start off by thinning the contacts of the female socket and also the wire. So we will be coming up with the tutorial uh, from start to end, how to do uh, DIY, how to learn soldering and etc. So do stay tuned for that. For beer dynamic, uh, the wire color are actually quite uh, easy. They have a blue, a red and a copper color wire. So blue will be left, red will be right and then the copper will be the ground. Okay, so the reason we know this is that uh, it's because we have done a lot of uh, headphones like this, I mean, from Beer Dynamic. But uh, for new headphones or anything that is uh, not familiar, uh, the way to find out we have to use a multimeter or a bulb tester. The wire has uh, insulation over it, so we have to strip it away. And uh, after that, we will tin them uh, with the solder uh, to prepare them for soldering.
So the last step will be to solder the wire down to the connector. Okay, so this is the left. Uh, I think the solder is not clean. I need to get a fresh block of solder onto it. And let's try again. Alright, next uh, will be the right side. And finally, the ground. Okay, so be careful not to burn anything with your iron. Uh, for example, we burn here. Uh, the smell that comes out is very unpleasant and it's toxic. So the very very last step is to fit them back together. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, it's, it's not going to be a one shot. Uh, and you can settle it. Uh, there are some places that we will need to cut. So we are going to find out now. We will try to get them to align. As you can see, it's not going to close properly. Uh, it's hitting onto something. Uh, first, you see the driver hitting onto the connectors. So we will pry them apart. Okay, so we have a small lip at the bottom that will knock into the connector too. So we have to cut it off. Yeah, as you can see, uh, the the driver cannot click onto the housing, so we will cut that off with a cutter. Then we'll try to align them together and uh, get to fit. Okay. So we have to align them uh, how we open them up. There is a small groove that you have to align. And uh, after hearing a few clicks, uh, it will be secured down. Then the last last step is to get the ear pad on. Okay, so there you have it, the completed mod. And uh, the headphone will not be complete without a pair of cable. Right now we have this uh, auxiliary allegro copper cable.